There is a surge of educators needing to create online lessons, and video is a great choice. Some of you may have resources, like a Liveboard Studio. For those that don't, there are some great tools that you may already have that can easily add interaction to a format that you know well. I'm going to show you how to record a video from within PowerPoint, adding in interaction with slides if needed. Create a PowerPoint from scratch or add video to an existing one. See the rest of the steps in this video. Record an explanation video to accompany a slideshow, operating all within PowerPoint. Create a slideshow from scratch or choose an existing one to add some interaction to. There are a few things we want to do to get set up for recording. Depending on which version you have of PowerPoint, these steps will differ slightly. Right click on the, along the top ribbon here and choose customize the ribbon. In here you have an option of recording. Go ahead and check mark that and make sure that it is live and hit OK. Now you'll notice along this top ribbon here we can select recording. So we'll need this in just a second here. Before we go ahead and dive into that function, right click up here and add a new slide. You can do that in a number of different ways. What we're going to use this is a placeholder for where our intro video will be. This is where we will say, hello students, we're going to go ahead and talk about X, Y, and Z, and it's good to see you. Next, add a conclusion slide right here, and just want to make sure our designs have similar layout here. And right here, we'll call this conclusion. This is where you're going to sign off, say, students, we'll see you later, make sure you do your assignments, and we'll see you next time. And again, this is where your video will live. Okay, so we are all set there. And now what we will do is go into the recording tab. Let's go to record slideshow. This looks great. You'll notice that my camera is turned off. Let's go ahead and make sure that's on here. Oh, there we go. I pop up. In this interface, you can now select settings. And you can double check that your microphone's live. I'm using a Plantronics headset, as you can see in my video here. I'm also using my integrated webcam that's in my laptop. Uh, you'll notice along the bottom here that you have some digital ink that you can use at any point in your slideshow. Go ahead and play around with that. It's kind of a fun tool. Uh, and you can also erase, all, excuse me, erase single pieces here as well as clear. Uh, you can clear some uh, recordings also on current slides. So it's a great tool to have, double check mic is on, double check camera's on, and you are ready to go. So let's record an example using uh, the slideshow that I have here. So I'm starting the recording. It's gonna count me down. Say hello class. Uh, today we're gonna talk about order of operations. I'm excited to educate you about this and let's dive right in. So again, topic of today is order of operations. The target learnings today are gonna be that you'd like to know the order of operations, and then we're gonna be able to solve problems using the order of operations. We'll, we'll go through and talk about how we will best remember the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is the acronym that we're gonna to use to remember these different functions. Okay, and again, uh, we'll go through, I would educate the my students on how best to use order of operations, go parentheses first, it's great that I can use these digital ink uh, tools. I can say, hey, hey, students, uh, a good practice is to go ahead and write that acronym as often as possible. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And they can show, they can see this digital ink pop up uh, right in the video. And we'd go through, okay, here's some great examples, custom animation you might have within PowerPoint. I'm flipping through here pretty quickly, uh, just as this is an example. And now we're on our conclusion size uh, slide. Students, I appreciate your attention. Uh, the order of operations is a great tool to have. It's gonna build on what we'll talk about in the future. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day. And then as soon as you click to the next slide, it will finish the slideshow. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what tools are available um, to do the recording. So if we wanted to see and preview what that looks like, um, what we can do is 
actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and make this first slide bigger so that way they can see you front and center. And then on the conclusion, we can do the same thing here. Put that right in there. Overall, you should know um, kind of what it sounds like, so you shouldn't have to preview it. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and hit the slideshow and do it again. But now you can export that to a video. We'd recommend just using the standard defaults that PowerPoint asks you to. Right now we're using 1080p full HD and then use recorded timings and narrations basically saying go with the timing that you had uh, as well as the narrations that you had on each slide. So go ahead and create the video. It will ask you what you want to save it as. We'll go ahead and call this test. And as you can see, PowerPoint is going to start creating this test video. We're always learning here at Revolution Live Boards and would love to hear about your experiences with this approach or any other preferred methods for that matter. We'd love to hear all about it. Please hit us up in the comments and thanks again for watching.